www.challenge.blogspot.com Today I'm doing something completely different because I talked about it before and I said I was going to do it. I'm doing a comparison between the fake and the real Michael Kors Selma handbag. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it's not that obvious at first when you look at it. So the next time your BFF comes over and she's trotting around with a Michael Kors, you'll know right away because I'm going to tell you everything about it, whether or not she's carrying a real one or a fake one. Here they are. Can you tell? Is this the real? Is this the real? Which one is fake? We don't know. Look at that. They're almost identical. Seriously. There's a little bit of a difference in color. We're going to talk about this. I'm going to look at the hardware. I'm going to show you the inside so you can really tell which one is fake, which one is real. So just to cut the suspense right now, let me tell you, this is the real one. This is the fake. This is the real one. This is the fake. Here are they from the side. Right. Some differences. I'm going to show you close-ups. All right, the first thing we need to talk about is the color. And I'm sorry the color is not that great here in my room because it's raining outside and I'm trying to have as much light as I can. But basically the color is not that identical and that's pretty much, at least in the blue version, how you can tell. The real one is this deep kind of rich blue, but the fake one is a little bit more indigo. I don't know if you can tell side by side the difference here. This way you can probably tell. All right. So the color is the difference. The weight is not the same. This is Safiano leather. This is pleather. All right. So let me show you a close up. See the Safiano leather has this kind of texture like this, right? And it's very sturdy type leather. The other one is a pleather. They still try to do the texture. You see that? The texture is right, but it's way softer. Matter of fact, when they mailed it to me, and I bought it on Alibaba Express or AliExpress or whatever. They had folded it this way to fit and it got a crease right here. So that tells me right there that obviously no woman was the one uh, folding this thing because I think that a woman would have known not to fold it forward so I wouldn't have the crease right here. Let me get into uh, close-ups and we're going to talk about hardware, the lining inside and you know the stitching and things like that. All right, so I'm in my guest bedroom um, on a white background. These are the sheets that you've seen before. Don't mind the cat here if you see any. Um, all right, so this is the real one and this is the fake one. We're gonna start with the obvious differences. You see the hardware here on the real one is squared and it's kind of like a, a gold finish that almost has a hint of copper in it. But on the fake one, it's definitely just a brass and it's rounded. See the difference if I show you this one. See how it's square on the inside and this one is not. They still have the same type of hardware here, the nails, but these are rounded on the top versus these that are completely flat. And again, the color is slightly different. Now, if you look at the stitching right here, this uh, four stitches right here, they're a little bit underneath the, uh, uh, the handlebar. But over here, they kind of like one of this five of them. It's not very well put together. Now, if you look at the handle here, right, you see how this is made, okay? And they put this kind of like wax uh, plastic rubber thing on the side, which is similar to what they have on the fake um, Louis Vuitton. And in the real Louis Vuitton, by the way, this is just stained in a red color. But in the fake one, they have like a wax um strip that they put over it so that's how you can tell the difference but here it is on the side this is totally totally looped together and very very tight and there's also a I guess it's a cord or some kind of armature inside this one doesn't have that it's a soft armature it's kind of foamy and obviously the handle here makes some kind of wrinkles right here which the real one doesn't have. It's perfectly tight and stitched. So when you hold it, it's a totally different feel. Now, if you look at the real Michael Kors um, logo, all the letters are nicely um, separated, right? And they're in the same color and straight. In this one, not so much. I'm trying to give you a better look here. You see the eye right here is a little bit too much um, flush towards the M. So it's definitely not the same look 
from far away you can tell but when you really really look on close inspection so this one by the way is was uh, $34 with shipping all right so <clears throat> let's talk about the sides I'm gonna turn them the same way so here's the real one again on the left you see how it's got a structure and it's nicely uh, tucked in with the uh, uh, the side here this one doesn't have the same structure because again this is not safiano leather it's um pleather so it doesn't stay straight like the other one you would have to shape it probably wet it and let it dry in order for it to become stiff but the big big difference is here you see on the fake one they have the stitches right here now I then make some kind of a lip and again with that a rubber that they put on the side and then they cut it right here so they have um, two pieces. On the real one you don't have that lip and it's one piece of leather. So it's just one piece that goes all around this way. On the fake one it's two pieces that they stitched right here at the bottom and the on this side here they do have that um, that rubber but it's completely sealed I mean you really cannot move it and this here you can see that they have the two pieces that are being sewn together so it just kind of like separates right here on the real one the two pieces are kind of like put together with that piece of rubber so they do not separate it's just one piece okay so it goes this way then you have the back of the um, zipper that looks like this with a nice stitch around the square and this just overhangs just enough for that one piece right here if you look at this one big big difference you see the difference you see that here's the real one here's the fake one so again they put like a little piece of foam in there but not a good quality let's talk about hardware real quick on the zipper for the micro course the real one you have the micro course tab right and it's a beautiful beautiful zipper i'm not sure what brand i'm not sure what brand of zipper it is but it's a it's a pretty heavy duty one on the fake one the zipper obviously is not the same color right this one has that gold this one is a navy blue and the tab says mk on it instead of having the uh, uh michael kors um, full name okay so that and you can hear the difference in sound that is not definitely that's a dead giveaway right there if you have a Michael Kors bag that has an MK like this instead of this tab that would be a fake all right now moving on to um, the handles or at least the uh, the shoulder thing the strap for the fake one has very very cheap looking um, clasp you see that and they're actually very difficult to open on these they're seriously heavy they are easy to open and they have the Michael Kors logo on them you see that on this one you don't have the Michael Kors logo it's just a plain um, buckle thing I guess but the biggest difference is don't mind the dust in there I don't even know what that is uh, the biggest difference is in the way in which the um, shoulder strap is being held onto the bag you have this big loop right here that's almost like an egg shape and this big full leather thing strap thing on the side right here it's a tiny loop right with a very very tiny piece of leather that holds it together so if I go this way you can see on the real one it looks like this and on the fake one it looks like this and you can totally see the difference see the size right here this is about almost two inches wide this is barely barely even one inch okay so from the top they do not look the same here's the fake one you have this big two inch uh, flap right here so it makes it like a four and on the real one you barely have maybe two and a half to three inches if even that okay now let's talk about the inside I'm gonna prop them the same way all right so in the real one you have this um, zip right here that has a leather uh, tag and again it opens up 
you know, towards the uh, right side. This one is not a gold zipper, right? It's just a regular one. And then you have what I assume to be the cell phone bag and then another pouch right here that would say um, Michael Kors, okay? On the thick one, look at the difference, okay? The strap is, the uh, zipper is a little gold thing as opposed to a leather one, okay? And then instead of having this big square insert of leather right here for the uh, pocket, you have this tiny one with a beige in the middle. And this is a much, much smaller pocket, by the way. Okay. And then in the front, right, the cell phone is on the right. Over here, it's on the left. And then you have this pocket right here that's tiny, that has some kind of plastic, I guess, inside because it makes some noise that the other one doesn't. And it doesn't have the little Michael Kors tab here. It has it over here. So this is what it looks like on the fake one. It says Michael, Michael Kors. And then on the real one, it says Michael, Michael Kors. But you see the difference? This is the Safiano leather. And this is clever all right see the white stitch okay. now the lining on the fake one you're gonna get this big huge MK logo all over okay it's very apparent um, it's a uh, is it upside down I don't think so no it's not so it's you know both ways and you have a stitch right there in the middle and it's beige with a dark brown but when you look at the other one it's a gold print over a beige and you can barely see the logo it's the same thing it's upside down and now they're all in the same way you see michael kors mkmkmk MK, MK, all facing the same way and the other one it's facing both ways okay and there's no stitching in the middle it's just one big piece of fabric and this one there's a stitching right there in the middle let me turn it the other way so we can see the back pockets. In the real one, you have those two pockets right here. They are pretty tight, but you can put a cell phone, you can put uh, your keys in there, whatever, with a little triangle um, contrasting stitch in the middle. They have a leather lip right there. In the fake one, they tried to do the same thing, but instead of being a leather lip, it's like a little cord of, um, you know, whatever that rubber they used and then the two pockets are not the same size you have like one that's similar to the one you would see here but then you have this one here that's similar to the one they have here on the side so again in the fake one you have those two pockets like this in the real one it's giving you a little bit more space on the inside and there's only one pocket for the cell phone let's move underneath it okay so under in the real one you have beautiful stitches here that are, you know, flat with the, uh, uh, or at least flush with the side. And you have the Michael Kors little feet right here. And these are flat. You see them? It says Michael Kors all over. You have four of them. In the fake one, this is not as flush. Again, they have this uh, cord right here. And then the feet are just regular hobnails. There is no logo on them. No logo whatsoever. There's a logo on this one none on this one okay now as far as the uh, length of the strap goes I'm gonna put them this way and this way okay so the real one ends here okay so it's a pretty good length with a whole bunch of holes you get um, one two three four underneath and five holes right here's the uh, uh, buckle I don't think it says Michael Kors anywhere on it okay but it has one little loop right here to hold it together okay the fake one is much longer you see that okay so this one stops here and this one stops here you see the difference in length okay now they have the uh, little buckle thing here the little stopper but Again, it's a cheap one. The holes are not punched the same. There's one, two, and I think there's a third one here. Four, five, 
and then six holes so there's more holes so the real one is on the left and the fake one is on the right so you see the difference in straps okay and then if I flip them you can see the difference the fake is right here on the left and the real one is on the right okay so the bottom line is this I am not encouraging you to buy bootleg fake purses don't bother with trying to get the look alike because the quality is not there i mean you would never see a little stitch coming out like this on a michael course that would or any high-end uh purse save the money purchase this this was 34 something dollars with shipping coming from china and this was um 298 dollars my husband bought it for me for my birthday i that's probably the most expensive purse that i have but the quality is there and because i'm taking care of it i'm definitely going to keep this for a very long time no doubt i love the color of it it's sturdy it's a little expensive it definitely is an investment but don't bother with these really i mean if if you want to have a bag that looks like this so bad there's plenty of companies that would um do good bags some of them in leather that have kind of like the same look if that's what you want and i didn't talk about the handle you see the difference in height in the two handles you see that okay so and that's probably because these are much softer anyway so I just wanted to spend the time to show you the difference between a real Selma by Michael Kors and the fake one you can find all over the internet apparently. I have no idea you could find so many fake things out there. Don't bother with it. The quality again is not there. It really, when you look at it closely, it really is not the same bag, period. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that the uh, um, Michael Kors comes with a little key thing. Uh, linear. I don't know if it says Michael Kors on it. I don't think so. That I would not use because that's just not something I would use anyway. Um, this one doesn't have it. Okay? So now you are educated, I guess, on the difference between a real Michael Kors Selma and the fake one. I'm not encouraging you at all to go and get anything that's fake. When I got this one, I wanted a look-alike, and again, they had blurred the whole thing. Matter of fact, I think they were showing it, like I said, they were showing it this way, so I had no idea. I just wanted something that looked like it, but when I received it, I said to myself, what was I thinking? This is such a waste of money. I mean, $34, you get like a um, um, bag that you can use to go to the supermarket, and that's about it. This is a high-end, high-quality Safiano leather bag. You can't beat that. Save the money, really. Save the money. Do what you can, um, you know, 20 bucks at a time. By the end of the year, you'll have your own Selma, and you don't have to go around and pretend to have a good bag. You don't have to have a ton of bags. I mean, most of my bags are regular bags that I purchase at TJ Maxx or... Um, you know, daffies, things like this. I, I get bags that are discounted and I buy a lot of Vera Bradley. Most of my bags are Vera Bradley and I get them on super sale. So if you like purses and you want to change these purses, you can find a lot of alternatives. You definitely, you know, don't have to go and, and have your husband or yourself spend $300 after taxes on a purse. You don't have to do that. And I know these bags that are way more money than this. I mean, you can get a Chanel for $3,500, but you know, what's the point? So the bottom line is, that there is a huge difference between the two it may be subtle from far away like if i was walking around you know you would not probably be able to catch on it but if somebody gives you one of those or if a friend of yours shows up and pretends that's a real bag be aware that this is a fake and this is what the real looks like okay i hope this helped and then i also have to do a video i promise i was going to do that on vera bradley bags and show you different patterns and different shapes and how you can use them how you wash them and whatever and store them because they are really really great bags and they're my favorite i have a lot of them okay this was sophia for my great challenge.blogspot.com i'll talk to you later bye